Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for everything Charleston. I'm Ashley Missouri. It's Medical Monday here at East Cooper Medical Center and today we're learning how to maintain a healthy, active lifestyle, especially this time of year as the heat continues to rise in the low country. So we're going to give you advice on what to do in order to make that workout safe and effective. Medical Monday, sponsored by East Cooper Medical Center. Joining me now, Dr. David Geyer. Thanks for having me here. Well, thank you. All right, we're talking today about uh, adults. Uh, we've talked about kids before. We're talking about adults getting ready to, if they want to get in shape and it, the summertime, they might have more time than they usually do. Talk about the process for starting that off. Well, the key is to work into all these programs slowly, whether it's running, lifting weights, or one of these group classes. Probably not a great idea to go zero to 60 right out of the gate. Start maybe doing something for 10 minutes and then see how it goes, how you feel the next day. Then start doing more and more, getting your body used to that stress. Some of the classes, boot camps and things like that, are those what you're talking about as far as working your way in? Yeah, those are the best examples of things that are great. I love them, but are a lot of times more intense than people are ready for. And so it's not uncommon. They push themselves really hard three days, four days in, they're hurting. So yeah, those are great examples of maybe before the class starts, learn some of the movements and start doing them on your own, getting ready for that boot camp. And it seems like as far as physical activity goes for adults, it's always evolving. What are some of the classes that you may recommend, like Pilates or things like that? I like all of them because they each have their kind of own role. Big fan of yoga, big fan mm -hmm. of Pilates. I like any program that involves some sort of strength training, even for women, I think that that's really helpful something the flexibility like the yoga oh, yeah. and Pilates and then some cardio be it high intensity interval training that's done in different ways or more of our steady state cardio running and biking and things like that. Okay we're going to talk about flexibility because it's always been a problem for me. How important is it as far as not getting injured though? Oh you and me both I, yeah. I am so I'm inflexible. Like, uh. <laughs> it's, I'm the same way. It is really important. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's something that you have to do it because it's going to necessarily make you a better performer but yeah to limit the hamstring strains and and the calf injuries and things like that. So just a few minutes after you've warmed up and then at the end of your exercise, yeah, five minutes maybe on either end can save you a lot of trips to my office. So, so not being able to touch your toes is not necessarily mean you're just done, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it really depends on what it is you do okay. because runners probably don't need to be as flexible as maybe people that do other, do other activities, but there still should be some because as we get older, our bodies get less and less elastic. So you still need to maintain that flexibility. And obviously in the low country, we know it heats up. What, what's your advice for when people work out? I think the key is yet yeah, to try to do it at times when it's not the 90 degrees and 80% humidity. So maybe earlier in the mornings, late at night. If you need to do a few workouts indoors because it's the middle of the day, so be it. And then maybe if you want to get outside, do it a little bit at a time and get your body ready. And maybe incorporate the kids as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we want kids when they become adults to exercise. The best way to do that is have them get to like it at an early age. So yeah, absolutely. Do it as a family. What about hydration? Oh, like huge, huge, especially here because it's so humid. Mm -hmm. The key is not just drinking water during exercise. It's to drink all throughout the day, little bits at a time, because by the time you feel thirsty, it's too late. What about the, the major issue you see is or, or the most common injury you see in here as far as adults go? Yeah, in the nature of sports medicine, we're seeing bone and joint issues. So you're going to see in my world knee and shoulder injuries. So especially the boot camps and the group training programs, the weightlifting programs, and then obviously the contact sports. But it can really be any part of the body. And real quick, when should they come in? After how long something's aching or hurting? I mean, I think it's reasonable to give it a day or two, rest, and stay off that activity, ice, anti-inflammatory, see how it goes. But if you can't do what you want to do as well as you want to do it, running on flat ground is okay, but running up hills really bothers you, something like that, go get it checked out. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. And of course, for more information, you can log on to their website at eastcoopersportsmedicine.com.